We are Martin Swift, and you're watching Martin Student News. Yeah. Oh, no. Attention all Art Club members. If you plan on going to our upcoming field trip next week, you need to make your way to room 263 sometime this week to get your permission forms. There are a limited number of spaces for this trip, so get your forms signed and turn in as soon as possible. <laughs> Only current art club members are allowed to go on this trip, even if you went on the trip in the fall. There are new forms to sign. So, again, that's at lunch, room 263, art club field trip forms. Be there! Attention all art club members, we will be having our group photo for the yearbook taken this Thursday, February 13th, during second period at 940 in Gym A. Be there. Attention Yappa members, we'll have a meeting this Friday at lunch in room 215, so make sure to come on by. Be present. Be there. Hi, I'm Caroline. And I'm Layton. And I'm Asa. And we met George P. Bush yesterday. He talked about energy sources and investing in different classes. He also visited Martin clubs such as Solar Car and the Robotics Team. All this is to say is thanks, George P. Bush. Visit, Visit us, us again, again soon. <laughs> If you'll be a junior or senior next year and you are interested in running for a student council officer position, there will be an election meeting next week, Tuesday and Wednesday during lunch and after school in room 250. The last meeting will be offered during lunch on Friday, February 21st. You must attend one of these meetings in order to run for a student council officer position. Come by room 250 and, or talk to Ms. Briggs if you have any questions. Be there! The Science National Honor Society will have a meeting on Thursday, February 13th during lunch in the Little Theater. All members will receive one credit for attending and free pizza will be served. See the sign outside of room 283 for more details. The ACTEC team competed in their regional competition and walked away with a total of 26 individual medals, third place in Super Quiz, and second place overall for large schools. Julia Dobbs was third highest varsity score and Journey Winkle was the highest scorer at the competition. If you're planning on attending UTA this Wednesday, only UTA is waiving the $75 application fee. If you have not applied to UTA yet, please use this opportunity to submit an application before the Friday scholarship deadline. You must talk to UTA admissions counselor in the counseling center on Wednesday in order to get your fee waived. Congrats to our German students. They rocked it at Winterfest, winning first place academics and first place sweepstakes, among tons of individual winners in their other events. Congrats to the Lady Warriors basketball team who finished their regular season 32-4 and 16-0 in their division. This is Coach Britton's first district title from her 10 years with the program and the team's first undefeated district championship since 1998. Congrats to being the top ranked team in the area and fourth in the state. Go Warriors! Martin's own Math National Honor Society is having our second annual Math Countdown Contest on Saturday, February 22nd from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Martin. Pre-AP and AP math students of all grades are encouraged to sign up. Teams of four will participate against each other in a bracket style event. There will be trophies and prizes and we will have free pizza and snacks. To sign up your team of four, see Ms. Summerholder in room 239 and put your names on the list. If you do not have a team but still want to participate, just sign yourself up and we will put you on a team with others looking for team members. TSA will meet February 13th at lunch in room 144. This meeting is mandatory for anyone who signed up to compete at Reginald's in February. Don't forget to sign your permission form. See you there. I'm black. I know my history. Who's more qualified to do this than me? Roll it. Now, I already know what you're thinking. You know the household names like Martha Luther King, Rosa Parks, Harriet Tubman. Yeah, well, that's not the only black history you know. Y you do know that, right? Oh, this is beautiful. But isn't February the shortest month of the year? Ah uh, yes, let's start there. In 1926, Harvard historian Carter G. Whitson, along with a few other notable African Americans started Negro Week. Negro, with an O, don't get it twisted. It was chosen to be the second week of February, coinciding with Frederick Douglass and Abe Lincoln's birthday. And see, there you go, you got a little bit smarter in American culture. Thanks for watching Black History Month. Do you wish you were standing on the sidelines instead of in the stands? Do you have a passion for encouraging others? And a love for sports? Then you should try out for Martin Cheer. If this interests you, make sure you and a parent attend the meeting held in Martin's Little Theater on Wednesday, February 12th at 6 p.m. You may not try out if you and a parent or guardian are not at this meeting. After the meeting, your next step in becoming an MHS cheerleader is to attend the cheer clinic from 6 to 8 p.m. on March 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Once you have learned out the tryout material, you will perform it on March 5th, tryout day. We can't wait for you to join our squad!
Seniors, Bahama Bash is asking for donations. You can drop off your donations in Miss Lewis's room. You'll earn a thousand Bahama bucks for Gatorade, sodas, or water, or two thousand Bahama bucks for donating a gift card. Follow Bahama Bash for more info. I'm Layton. And I'm Asa. And thank you for watching Martin's Student News. Today's Abe Lincoln's birthday. Have a wacky Wednesday. Bye! Bye.